Dowdy Lake in the Red Feather Lakes area of Colorado and we're gonna take our kayak here today and we're gonna ferry everybody out to that island and eat lunch out there. That's the plan. It's a little bit windy so it's gonna be a little challenging rowing but we'll see how it goes. Can you push them off? Push them. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to come over. Brian's having a row against the wind, which looks almost impossible. He's getting here though. Make sure you come back for me. Wind's taking him again. You made it. It was horrible that time. Yeah, it looked horrible. It looked like spun me in circles. I, I know, I saw. I didn't get it on video, but yeah. How's your arm doing? Oh, my arm. My arm. Well, she had an accident with her arm about three years ago, and it still hurts her to this day to kayak. Yeah, quite a bit. Like, and I also just don't have much strength. But, yeah, I, feel like... I can handle this. I'm worried about getting back. Find us a spot. to the island and we're eating our lunch now. It was a bit of a struggle with the wind, especially going back to pick people up. And uh, it's not too bad out here. There's a little bit of an ant problem we're dealing with, but other than that, it's very pretty. Great views and some neat rocks out there in the lake behind us. It's a very pretty lake. This is Dowdy Lake. That's not very nice, so. I don't know. Oh, they like that bread or whatever that is. But yeah, we're going to call this Ant Island because there's literally so no, many ants. Windy Ant Island. Windy Ant Island.
He got his drone stuck in the tree. So now he's throwing rocks and sticks at the tree to try to get it down. Stay back. Unfortunately, a, the controls on my drone stopped working properly and a gust of wind took our drone right up into the top of a tree, so I'm not sure how we're getting that down. Well, I managed to knock it down to a lower spot. Yay! Somehow it didn't break a propeller. Did turn one of them green though. <laughs> well, we've enjoyed our three days we spent at this pretty sweet boondocking spot near the Red Feather Lakes, but it is time to move on now. We're gonna head west over the over the front range here and try to maybe look for a spot at State Forest State Park. Uh, we found that on the map by Walden, Colorado. Look like an interesting place to go. If we can't get in there, I guess we'll try to find a National Forest Service campground or another boondocking spot. But we first of all have to find a place to dump our tanks and refill our water supply before we do anything. And so we'll pack up here and be on our way. All of the sites at State Forest State Park were full, so we decided to just head on further down the road across the border into Wyoming to see what we could find. We are trying to find a camp site for the night, and these people we saw in a town we went through recommended this place, but it's down 20 miles of really sketchy dirt road through some pretty desolate terrain. It's supposed to take over an hour to get there, and we might get there and then find there's nothing. And then we gotta turn around and come back the way we came, so... I don't know. Hopefully there's not a lot of people that wanna... <laughs> drive. 
drive out here. Brakes again. Uh, I don't. Insane hill. There was a fork in the road, and we think maybe we took the wrong way. <laughs> we followed what the GPS told us to do. Oh, it's just no, it's not. No, it's not. Actually, we probably should have done the opposite of what the GPS said. Brian being very stressed. This road is really sketchy. So yeah, we're particularly worried about popping a tire or a leaf spring. Like, not popping a leaf spring, but breaking one. Uh, like we did earlier in the trip. We don't need that again. Or me throwing up because this road is so bumpy. Oh. Yeah, there's that too. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is steep. Oh my gosh. <sighs> this is not the right way. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's the only way to get there on the GPS because the other road is just an off road with a I don't know. RV. I know. I know. What did I do? Okay, we can't, can't turn around. There's no turn around. Then we gotta go back up. That's gonna be scary. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know what this is. This is not qualifies as a road. It's like a ditch. Here's what this road looks like on a map. And... Zooming in, there are like some other jogs of road. You can see the white lines, but I mean, there's really absolutely no way to know if we should have gone the other way. But this is like a four we're thinking, four. we're thinking we should have gone the other way. <laughs> I don't know how you do this. Yeah, I'm I'm thankful for you, Brian. You can do it as long as our car can do it. I'm more worried about the camper, honestly. Yeah. I think it's gonna get shaken to bits. And this is freaking nuts. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is horrible. This is this is not the way those people came. There's no Unless way. they were trying to trick the tourists because they don't want us in their state. This is bad. But yeah, I think they probably would. We're gonna have to turn around. I wanna cry. Are we dreaming? There's no way I can make it up that. I didn't try either. We're gonna have to turn around. Yeah. I don't I don't even know I don't know what that is. That's so scary. How am I even going to turn around? Yeah, I don't know. I'll get out and help. <sighs> so we turned around and we're headed back the way we came in. Hopefully we'll make it. I'm really scared about getting up. Yeah, I'm scared about getting up too. Oh, don't get stuck in that big rut. straddle these just to make sure that I don't bottom out. I 
can see a road over there that has telephone poles along it. I don't know if that's the way we were supposed to have gone and we just made a wrong turn or what. But this is definitely not the right way. No! Baby cows. Aww. Hi, baby. So there's the road we just came from over there, and we just turned around, and we're gonna try this one instead. We'll see. This isn't much of a road, but it looks more like a road than that other path we were on. Other dangerous dirt road of chaos in the middle of nowhere. So yeah, you can see all these roads, and like, there's no signs or anything, so. It's just all guessing. We were taking the GPS's word for things before, and we're not doing that. But interestingly, we have an old school GPS that's on our phone, and it's telling us a different route, so we're gonna go with that. <laughs> that road over there is the road we were on earlier, and you can see even from here how crazy steep it is. <laughs> it said hang a left, but it looked like we were supposed to hang a left back there where there was no left to hang. And then a little bit later we see this. So we're trying to figure out if the GPS is just off a bit. The road we were on before crossed into this road, which is actually labeled. It has a sign. It had a sign. We'll look at that sign. Like it's yeah, it, it, yeah, a street sign. It also said that this, what, what's the place where it's called? I can't remember. Yeah, it had a sign for that. So. I'm thinking we started off in the wrong place to begin with. Yeah. Um, we found it after quite the journey. Now we just hope there's a site. We did finally find a campsite after taking some of the craziest roads we've ever been on trying to find this place. So this is a uh, Hog Creek Lake campground, I think. If you ever come here, do not follow your GPS. Try to find proper instructions on the internet somehow because your GPS will not get you here. But we have a really beautiful site overlooking these awesome mountains. And if you walk over this way, there's an awesome, reservoir back there so we'll have an awesome place to take our kayak out tomorrow so we're gonna call it a night tonight and get some food because it's been a long day